So I have to add this uh, small presentation. We didn't have time to talk about something that um, I had hoped to cover during today's session, and that was the semi-automatic keys or bugs. So these are devices that mechanically generate dots, and they were actually popular before we had electronic keyers. You could use these with any um, vacuum tube uh, simple rig to generate uh, a very fast CW. And uh, actually, uh, telegraphers used this for uh, many, many years. Uh, when we developed uh, uh, electronic technology um, uh, that included the iambic system, then they became obsolete. They are difficult to use. Uh, it's a, an art form that really does require uh, a lot of practice, and they have a very specific um, tone. I, I actually have one here that I was going to demonstrate to you. Uh, first of all, a word of caution. I am not great at this thing. I have been trying to figure these things out my whole life, and I'm not even close to getting them uh, to sound good. Actually, I think that uh, it's fair to say that my, my sending is terrible. But for demonstration purposes, let me go ahead and uh, uh, show you how, uh, how they operate. The one I have is made by Viberplex. They're probably the largest manufacturer of these bugs. Um, you could argue, why are they still available when we have such uh, 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 good keyers. And the question, the answer to that is I think it's just, you know, people like some of the nostalgia from that, and it does take a lot of skill. Um, so it's kind of a, a challenge for operators. So uh, please excuse me uh, kind of turning things around here. I'll try not to show the mess that I have in my, uh, my shack. Okay, so just bring that up here a little closer if I could, and I'll angle that down so you get a better look at it. All right, so uh, this is uh, a uh, the classic bug made by Viberplex. Uh, the uh, uh, main components are a swing arm here, and this has a weight on one end. So when it is activated by the paddle here, um, it'll actually uh, generate dits by literally by just rapidly making contact as that swing arm moves back and forth. I'm going to crank the volume up here too. I'm not going to edit this video so you guys get to hear all the background stuff and see all the unusual things that I typically um, don't have as part of my videos. But this is a demonstrating process here. Anyway, so uh, to generate the dashes, when you do that here, it's almost like using a straight key. I have these, this is moving around my table because it's not as heavy as it looks. Okay, so go ahead and I can't get myself back in here again. All right, so a challenge to use. I, sorry about that. I'm sure it hurt everybody's ears. Um, they're 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 fun to use. Uh, I th I think it takes decades to become uh, good at. I have actually been trying this seriously for for years, and that's as good as I get with it. So I typically don't use it on the air. I just use the old iambic key. Okay, well, so I, I hope that was uh, uh, instructive for you. You will recognize that unusual meter that these things produce on the air now. Some people uh, uh, just prefer that way of, uh, of sending their code. So, uh, very good. Uh, we had a great session today. Uh, a strong work for everybody, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend. Take care.